Patrick Lancaster, and this is a special update from Rostov. Right behind me, you see civilians gathering to see, cheer off, see off the Wagner group. The day has gone through so many different changes in here in Russia. The day started with the uh, leader of the Wagner group, Prigozhin, saying that the Ministry of Defense of Russia fired on the the, the, his forces from the rear, these forces, the Wagner group, as they were in uh, the war zone fighting. And Rigozhin brought his forces into uh, uh, Rostov and took control of part of Rostov. And the Ministry of Defense uh, and Russian authorities were calling them uh, traitors. And he, he was making demands. And just hours ago, and over here we could see some of the, let's go over this way. Right here we can see a wagon tank that was uh, here in uh, the center of Rostov. And just hours ago, uh, the head of the Wagner group met with the president of uh, Belarus, Lukashenko, and uh, had a negotiations. And the result of that negotiations was that uh, his longtime enemy, the uh, uh, Minister of Defense of Russia, Shegu, and Shegu's deputy um, is, are at least going to be resigning. We've been on the road for 10 hours to get here to show you what's happening here on the ground, and we're doing that. <laughs> Как вы чувствуете за сегодня? Да, наши ребята очень рады всех видеть. Пусть мы побыстрее все вместе объединимся, вместе мы сила Ахмат и Вагнер сила. Как результат сегодня? Как результат сегодня? Результат сегодня? А, результат нормальный. Нормально? Всех сбодрили. Счастливо. Счастливо. So, we just got a short little interview there with the head of the Wagner Group as he was leaving the area here in Sinta Rostov. That was Prigozhin. <laughs> And now we can see that uh, the last uh, tanks of the Wagner group are leaving with the cheering of the crowd here in uh, Rostov. And we just saw the head for Goshikubai and so many uh, people just uh, cheering and wishing him well and wishing him off. Very different than we thought it was going to be here. All right, now we can see uh, one of the tanks here behind me has a uh, bouquet of roses in the end of it. Very interesting, to say to the least. Seems the people are happy that the, the Wagner came here or happy they're leaving. It's a little hard to say, but I mean, what else can you say? The, the people are here cheering the soldiers, cheering them, thanking them. Thank 
Как дела? Отлично, супер, да? мы счастливы. Путин и... наш хозяин. Да? И Путин вас, э, вас рада. Э, мы Вагнер. любим, мы мы любим Вагнер. Вагнер. Да? да? Мы любим Россию. Россия, Россия. Наша, победит вот. всегда. Ага. Всегда будем. Любим. Сегодня был проблема а или нет? Нет Россия. проблем. А нет, все Россия. отлично. Все отлично, все хорошо. Ага. Отлично. Понял. Все замечательно. Как обстановка здесь? Замечательно. Да? да. Сегодня был проблем? Или... Никаких проблем не было. Ага. Как вы чувствуете за э, обстановку сегодня? Что произошло? Ну, как в кино. Да? Ну, и... Что вы... Что вы думали за... За Вагнер... Замечательные ребята. Да? Да, да. не было ни страха. Плоть от плоти народ. Ага. Все, спасибо большое. Как, как обстановка? Класс! Обстановка класс! Ну там, да? там Нет Нет проблемы сегодня? Ага. Как? Почему? Я, мы слышим на новости и тут очень... Все! Заебись! Лайк! 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 Еще раз сказать. Вы знаете, нет никакого конфликта. Все замечательно. Мы любим президента. Лучший президент. У нас все замечательно. Мы любим Вагнер. У нас Министерство обороны супер. Самый сильный штурмовой объект в мире. Нет. Но в начале. Но мы верили. Мы верили в душе. Мы верили в том, что разум. Россия всегда была с разумом. И мы нашли бы, обязательно нашли бы мирный конфликт. Все нашли бы слова нашли бы переговоры какие-то прошли бы но обязательно только мирным путем только мы верили в это так и случилось так и случилось мы благодарны Богу Бог с нами Вагнеровцы умницы большие молодцы лучше что на веки в мире are you aware, are you aware as a result of today the minister of defense of Russia is going to be leaving his job мы горды своей страной Скажите, пожалуйста, как вы думаете, в результате сегодняшних событий министр обороны Российской Федерации будет ли уволен? Ребята, в моей части, пожалуйста, отойдите. А, пожалуйста. Но... Может быть, да, может быть. Да. Нет, это уже... Может, Нет, если не думали об этом. Может да. быть, да. Вы знаете, мы не думали об этом, да, но как-то вот... Хочется верить в хорошее, в лучшее. В лучшее да. Да. Я думаю, что президент найдет тот Так у нас есть метод, сильные, метод. сильные генералы, да. есть, которые умеют Мы воевать, и которые могут, да, могут. Как, как вас думал за министра обороны? Был хороший или... Как сказать? Но... Видимо, не все так... Так было хорошо, что произошел этот президент. Не да. так просто, да. Да, не так. Поэтому надо решать президенту, как, как да. дальше действовать. Да. Ага. Искать варианты. Да. Усиление. Спасибо. Как обстановка? Обстановка. Да? Все хорошо. Да? Что будем сделать сейчас? Что будем? Работать, будет? работать. Да? Работать, работать. Ага. Это вот это ставлю
Kak Absenovka. Да. We can just see the happiness of the people here tonight. It's very different than I expected. I mean, there's just thousands of people, the hundreds maybe, just cheering them along as they leave the city. Uh, what's happened here today? Well, today was some kind of attempt of an intervention, but uh, thankfully they managed to find a solution almost without victims. So we see that people support Wagner and that they managed yeah, to find something in common with their goals. Uh -huh. And we hope they will make it to the victory. Okay, and why are people cheering to Wagner right now? I suppose because they uh, support them, they respect them, and they are glad that they managed to solve it without blood and without, you know, uh, civil war. Uh-huh. And uh, what do you think about Wagner yourself? Well, I respect them for what they're doing, and... Uh, I suppose that that was a cause of misunderstanding because you know bureaucracy and that their uh, judicial status wasn't that clear and that all that blood was boiling but well the level of uh, <laughs> of danger is not that uh, great at the moment I guess they're glad that uh, you know it's not war here uh -huh. And uh, what? And you? Uh, do you know that the results of today is that the Minister of Defense is losing his job? I've heard it, but that's uh, not certain yet. It, it seems like the agreement in the negotiations uh, with uh, President Belarus this, was that uh, he was at least going to be resigning. That's the word now. Yes, yeah, seems so. But the President of Belarus doesn't have such uh, uh, power to uh, to set another minister. But um, it seems to me that some change is going to happen. Okay, I and you think so. that'll be a good thing or a bad thing? I suppose it's going to be a good thing. And where are you from? From here, from most of them. And why do you speak so good English? I've been studying it in university. Uh-huh. Yeah. And right. I've been looking for all your videos since, uh, since the Armenian uh, war in Azerbaijan and Armenia. And uh, I respect you man really much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. What's your name? Arthur. 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 Very nice to meet you. Thanks, sir, Pat. Thank you. Thanks for what you're doing. Thank you. Bye. All right, we've done everything to show you the most we can here in Rostov. We thought we actually missed it. Uh, we thought we, we drove all day, 10 hours to get here, and we got the news that they had left the city. So we were just prepared with our camera here today. We were just taking a walk, and we found him here. It was, the word was that they had already left. So sorry about the quality of the video, but we're always uh, prepared with at least a camera in our pocket. Um, but. This is, turned out to be a pretty good video. We got to talk to uh, Prigozhin and uh, really get an insight into the people here in Rostov, the Russian, you can say soul, about what they think about the events of today and the Wagner group. Um, very surprising even for me. I've been living in, uh, in Donetsk uh, off and on for the last uh, nine years and covering this war for nine years. So it's been just a, a, a shock. I had predetermined conclusions coming here today after seeing all the events of the last 24 hours. I did not expect it to be like this at all. Of course you won't see this on the Western mainstream media. You won't see the people happy that uh, Wagner was here today and that they weren't scared at all. They weren't scared of anything. Of course, it seems there was some casualties today with the uh, aviation up north. And that's a shame. We wish the best for their families. We're going to keep bringing you all the stories here in the ground in Russia, in the war, Ukraine war zone, and, and beyond. Because the Western mainstream media hides these facts from you. We show you what they want. We show you the facts that we see with our own eyes. We don't sit in a chair somewhere a thousand miles away, just typing away, reading. We come to the point of the action, like always. I'm Patrick Lancaster, coming to you from the places the Western mainstream media won't. Please support our work with the link on the screen or in the description, because this is how we're only able to report to you, our viewers, because you're the ones that support us. Right.